guys, and welcome to what is a surprisingly simple fight by the looks of it. I had a quick test run just to see what I could do, and the only problem I ran into was paralysis. I actually expected Claire to be quite difficult. Gyarados, not so much. Yeah, it's a Gyarados, I didn't expect it to be difficult. Even if it misses. I haven't actually checked which Dragonair is which either. I don't even remember their movesets. I did that last time. Actually, last time it woke up a turn later, at least. This time it just woke up stupidly early. Oh well. There's a dead Gyarados. And I'm really dead too because the RNG hates me. Okay, Dragonair. I'm not sure what this thing's moveset is. I'm not sure what their movesets are, like I said. But I know roughly what they do. Shedskin sucks, it's one of the things I was worried about. But it doesn't really make anything too difficult. In fact it's better than it waking up on its turn like that. Rocket fights. I don't remember when I bought them, I remember buying them at some point though. I think it might be after Ariana, which was silly. <coughs> so I'm just going to wall this thing for a bit. Spam some movement bumps. I think I need some wave, yeah. Okay, that's gonna the sleep better. I was going to get some cherry berries, but then I realized that the flight was simple enough that it wouldn't be necessary to have cherry berries on my other team members. So we're going to quickly heal with Flappy. That's it. May end up being useful against one of the Dragonairs. And then... Just do some chip. I'm going to use a Hyper Potion though, which is irritating. On the other hand, it gives me a nice opportunity to heal. I don't have any hyper potions to shed either. But it's not too many anyway. Probably two or three. Let's put it to sleep. Uh, as I expected. <coughs> Let's put it to sleep. Let's put it to sleep. Okay. We're gonna use a full heal. And put it to sleep again. Now just do some chip damage. Skip them with best archer. And there goes the Dragonair. Now I'm kind of anticipating there's a Dragonair to be honest. Yeah, last time I beat it with Flaffy and she sent in Kingdra. Okay, don't heal. 
That works too. So at this point, things are really easy. I even got a light screen up, which will just serve to make it even easier. Now, what happened on my first fight was... Well, during the first fight was, I tended to skip my own. I used to sleep better. This thing had sped me. But then, I realised it's actually a speed tie. So I went first there, but it may go first in the future. Like, right there. Which makes timing sleep better. It's kind of awkward. And by kind of, I mean very. Please don't interrupt me. Please don't interrupt me. Please don't interrupt me. <laughs> so, now I just stall out. It's not really going to be able to kill me. I just expect this in the future with substitute added in. It is a citrus berry, which is pretty much the only problem. Here's the time, so I was spamming sleep powder once I got here to sleep count. Now I guess I'm going to be spamming with the move unless I'm way... 60... Yeah, we can go for it. And... Yeah, he said, I don't risk just sleep powdering unless I know I can survive it like I could there. Well, I probably could have GRNG might have made me. Because it's only a 50-50 chance of actually and speeding. Despite what the game might make you think right now. And there's her other full restore, which she refused to use on a Dragonair because she's evil like that. Sleep powder. I could even just switch out and Thunderbolt it. Or Light Screen and Body Slam. Or something. But it's not necessary. Yay, critical hit. <coughs> oh no, a dragon pulse. Critical. Bitch. Uh, don't worry, you're dead anyway. I'm pretty sure I can take a hyper beam or hydro pump or whatever. So yeah, 